Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Diana? I'm good, and you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know, here, ready to start. So, how are you? How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Mande. How's everything? You on your way home, de camino a casa? Eh, sí, todavía no. No he llegado a mi casa. Okay, let me know when you arrive, okay? That's fine, that's fine. Solo me avisa cuando llegue, no problem. Okay, thank you. No, thanks to you. I know it's it's not easy, it's not easy. But I'm so glad that you could make it. So, let's see. Hi, Ruth. How are you? How are you? How's everything? Uh, I'm fine, thank you, teacher. How was your day? Mm. More, more occupation. Muy ocupada, no sé cómo es eso. Very busy. <laughs> Very busy. Uh, very good. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's mm -hmm. nice. I mean, I know that some days are harder than others, right? Algunos días son más duros que otros. Yes, pero muy buenos. <laughs> La verdad que me gusta mi trabajo. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, it's always good to, to find joy in our job. Es bueno encontrar gozo, joy, in our job, in what we do. I mean, it's it's not easy sometimes, but, uh, you know, we have to make do. Hay que ver cómo le hacemos. Well, so glad to, to, to have you here. Qué bueno tenerla por acá. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you uh, for making the effort. Oh, by the way, you know, I just sent you the... the, the Le acabo de enviar del yesterday's presentation. La presentación del día de ayer. Sí, aquí está ya. Gracias. Yeah, no, no, my pleasure. Uh, let's see. Well, thank you, Ruth, and welcome. Let's see. Julio. Hello, Julio. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And you? I'm um, just, just great. Just great. You know, same old story as usual. Working for a change. Trabajando para variar. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, what can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Yes. So, well, we got to face another day, another dollar, right? Yes. I mean, and, and if we complain, things just get worse. Si nos quejamos, solo se pone peor. So, let's not worry about it. I mean, as long as we are relatively... Uh, uh, Healthy, aunque estemos relativamente saludables. You see. So tell me, did you go to the gym today? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, what did you wear today? Tell me. Um, I wear a shoulder and trapezium. Oh, really? Oh man, I gotta, I gotta wear that. Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow I gotta wear shoulder. Bicep, uh, tapis, trapezio. Yeah, I guess just that. And Friday, oh. I go back to legs. <laughs> Usually, I work three muscles per day. Mm. No, I have to work uh, legs today, but uh, I, ha I have to... I had to win. I, I have to, to go. Win. I ha I have to go. Uh, my my son to academy. 
I had to take. I, no, I have to go with my son. Oh, okay. So you have to go with your son. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, those are obligations that we cannot avoid. Esas son obligaciones que no se pueden evitar. Yes. And that's the problem of being a father, you know. Eso pasa cuando uno es padre. But hmm, it's interesting dealing with kids. Siempre bonito eso de trabajar con with kids, con los niños. Julio, nice having you here and welcome. Thanks. Let's see. Hey, lady. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Is it hot where you are today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, the thing is this. Compared to where you usually spend your time, everywhere is hot. <laughs> I mean, you will feel almost everywhere you will be complaining that it's too hot. What time no did you... Feeling. El lugar donde usted vaya, comparado con donde usted se vive, todos los lugares va a sentir calientes. Mm, mm -hmm. uh, Santa Tecla is cold, relative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, compared to where I live, of course. Uh -huh. And just wait the day that you go to Suchitoto. Hmm. Monday, That's... Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, um, come back. El, yo regreso el, el, el miércoles. So, and you gonna stay at Suchitoto? Y se va a quedar ahí. <laughs> That's okay. good. That's gonna be fun. Nah. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you, but it's hot. Today, uh, is in Santa Tecla. Yeah. In the travel and three accidents. Three accidents. Oh my gosh. So you got to drive safe. I can manejar. Sí. Thank yeah. you. Nos yeah. demoramos una hora esperando que movieran. No. Really? You have to wait for an hour? Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Welcome to San Salvador. <laughs> That's the only thing I can tell you. Welcome to San Salvador. Rarely, rarely I see I uh, I see uh, accident. I rarely watch accidents. I rarely watch accident. Oh. Mm -hmm. In the the. In this case, I saw, I watched three uh -huh. accidents, watch out. Three uh, accidents. Yeah, that's normal. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, if you live in San really? Salvador, yeah, living in San Salvador, just, that's normal to watch a couple of accidents every day. No. <laughs> yeah. Quite normal. Look at mm. look at Ruth. She says that she's got accidents in, in the corner, by the corner, like quite regularly, right, Ruth? Yeah, you see so I know. <laughs> I mean that's normal here. It's weird if you go out to the street to San Salvador, you come back home and you don't see no accidents, you are like, man. <laughs> It's not a normal day. Wow. I mean, the only thing we do is that we feel happy it wasn't us. Simplemente nos sentimos felices de que no fuimos nosotros. But, eh? I mean, that's normal. Quite normal. But no, man, today is hot. I hate it. I got the fan here. And, well, I got a room. Well, I got two rooms with air conditioned, but I cannot go there now because 
I got people there who are sick. So, but, but believe me, right now I wish I could, I could be with air condition, cause it's so hot and I hate it. I get a mm. headache. I feel uncomfortable. Man, it gets me sick. When it gets this hot, it gets me sick. Uh, look like uh, I even put ice on my water and it's the ice is gone and the water is warm. Mm -hmm. So it's terribly. I imagine that it's going to rain one of these days. Espero que llueva unos estos días. Um, how I think that the last week do you, do you remember what I told you the other day? Whenever you start telling me those things that it rains there, that it's cold, that you live in a very peaceful place, you know, I don't like you that much, lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not that good. That's not that good. Man, I got envy and not of the good one. Me da envidia y no de la buena. My apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... No, my problem is this. I was living in a place like that for many years, so I miss it. I miss the mm -hmm. good weather. But that's life. Mm -hmm. Lady, nice talking to you. Welcome. My pleasure, my pleasure, teacher. Nah, pleasure is all mine. Okay, let's see who else I got. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Ah, oh, good evening. Bye, thank you. Oh, really? How was your day? Uh, was relaxed. Relax? Yes. Cool. Nice. I, I, I have, how do I a little work. A little work? Yes. Mm, that's nice. That's nice. What time did you get home? Uh, I I I came at home around six six p.m. Around six. Okay. Yes. So you had dinner already. Yes. That's nice. Yes. That's very nice. So, what did you have for dinner? Ah, uh, what? Is como le egg, egg fried, fried eggs, fried eggs, beans, bread, coffee. Okay. Oh man, a cup of coffee. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I. I just had a cup of a cup of coffee with a, a with a pill. Got to tomar una con acetaminophen. It's good for my headache. Um, I don't I don't the homework with my kids. Oh, you you didn't you didn't do homework or you did already? No, he's no, no my kids. Oh, your kids. Mm -hmm. Uh well, homework. Ah oh, man, it's complex. Homework is always a lot of work. Yes. Okay. Well, welcome to the class, Claudia. Nice having you. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me just one second. Okay, let's see who else is around. Jose Alfredo, like the singer. Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. <coughs> Man, I was going to ask you, how are you? But I can tell you are coughing. Mm. You sick? I a little sick. Oh, teacher. I have a cold. 
Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah, I got <laughs> I got people here at home that who are in the same situation. They got the fever. They're running a fever and stuff. That's yeah. bad. That's bad. That's bad. I mean, yeah, I don't like. Ah, uh, get a shot of tequila, man, and buy lemons. Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Or get five tequilas and one lemon. I never remember what's the correct one. Nunca me acuerdo I, cuál es la correcta. If I have, I have flor de caña. Oh, that's wrong. Ya me dio la receta, dice. That's <clears throat> wrong. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just remember, during the class, try the first one. Mientras dure la clase, solo pruebe la primera receta, not the second one. The second one is five shots, <laughs> one lemon. Okay. Thank you, yeah. teacher. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Some people say that that works for them. I don't know. I have never tried it. I mean, <laughs> it worked for me for sleeping, actually. You know? I get a little thingy like this, and then I go to sleep, and I sleep nice. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well... I'll let your throw rest because we have a lot of activities, so we're going to talk later, okay? Okay, teacher. <clears throat> okay, guys, let's see. Ana Veronica, hello. Good evening, teacher. Aha, uh -huh, Ana Veronica, we were missing you yesterday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very busy at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Muy, yeah. urgente, muy urgente, no me pude conectar y ya hasta me llamaron. Ya, le, yeah. ya me puse al día viendo el material de ayer. Mm -hmm. You know, I created that excuse. Esa yo me la inventé. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. Don't worry, don't worry. I understand. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, let's see how many do I have. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. I will remind. Let me just remind. Don't go, don't go, Ana Verónica. Okay. I will remind your classmates to connect because uh, because I'm checking the minutes already. Estoy revisando los minutos ya. And 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 just a couple of you guys got the fifty percent. Solo unos cuantos tienen el cincuenta por ciento. And on Friday we were we are supposed to be on. 75? Para el viernes deberíamos de tener el 75. That's no good. So we need to be like, try to be all the classes as much as possible. So, where are you, Ana Verónica? Where did you go? ¿Qué se me hizo? Pero, pero. Ah. Ajá, pero. there you are. I guess you're a little bit busy, right? Don't worry, we can talk later. Let me guys get the attendance before anything else happens. Okay, let's see. Ana Marlene Andrade, Mañana, entonces, yo le, le digo como me quedo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Buenas noches, Adolfo. Adiós. Thank you. No, no, bye. Hello. Okay. Present, present. Stop. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I'm kidding. <laughs> Carlos Miguel Lumaña Lobo. <laughs> oh, there you are, Carlos. Yeah, I remember I have seen you. Uh, Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Thank you. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present, teacher. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. José Alfredo Hueso López. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present teacher. 
Oh, Jose Alfredo's here. Oh, he's sick. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present. Marjorie Angelica Ardón Granicho. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Oh, by the way, before we move on, antes que continuemos, let me let me get something straight out. Déjeme dejar algo ya definido. Okay. Next week. Let's see. Monday. Ana Marlene, Ana Verónica, Carlos Miguel, and Clelia Estela. Guys, you got to do your presentation on Monday. You remember the homework? ¿Se acuerdan de la tarea final? Where you are going to, to be speaking yes. in English for a couple of minutes? Yes. Okay, that's for Monday, guys. Okay. Tuesday, Diana Maribel, Eric Josué, Irving Otoniel, and Iván Alberto. Okay, Wednesday. Wednesday goes Jocelyn Karen, Jose Alfredo, Julio Cesar, Lady Joanna. Oh no, in the case of Jocelyn Karen, no, we have another agreement. Let's see. It's gonna be Jose Alfredo, Julio Cesar, Lady Marjorie, and Nilton. Those go for Wednesday. Okay. And on Thursday goes Rafael, Ruth, Santos, Claudia, Veronica, Elizabeth, and Walter Ernesto. I leave the Friday free because we never know. Dejo el viernes libre porque nunca sabemos. I mean, something happens, you cannot be or whatever. You're going to do it on Friday. So everybody have the opportunity. Remember, it's a, it's the topic is free. You can make it just a speech, just speaking. Uh, it's going to be fun, guys. I know. I'm sure it's going to be fun. Trust me. Créanme, va a estar divertido. It's going to be also interesting. And don't worry. Don't worry. It's not like you're grade. It's just... Teacher divertido para usted. Ah, come Pero on. Pero nosotros vamos a estar preocupados. No, look, look. I'll tell you the objective of this. The objective is for me to find out if there's something else that perhaps I can give, I can give you extra so you can practice. La idea es que yo revise y evalúe si hay algún área más en la que les pueda reforzar. Like, you know, there comes vacation, viene vacación, and if I see some points that perhaps I have some material, se va algunos puntos que quizás yo tenga material por ahí, I can give it to you. I mean, the idea is, so for next module, you get like, ready. Así esos pequeños detalles que logremos identificar para el próximo módulo, puede ser que ustedes ya los haya superado. That's the idea. Okay? That's why, uh, don't, you don't need to make it perfect doesn't have to be perfect, okay? I'm not asking for you to speak perfect English. I'm asking you to speak as you do it normally. No quiero que me hablen inglés perfecto. No quiero que se metan al traductor, lo metan todo un texto bien organizado, muy bonito, y, y no es su inglés. No es realmente lo que usted domina. The idea is what you can do so I can help you improve it. La idea es encontrar lo que usted puede hacer para que yo les ayude a mejorarlo. Because that's my job, to help you, okay? Ese es mi trabajo, ayudarles. So, I mean, the idea is for you to be better. And next module, you're going to do better. By the way, did you 
They are asking for paperwork. Don't forget it also. No olviden el, los documentos. Right? They are asking for the paperwork for next module. Ya están pidiendo la documentación para el próximo módulo. And it's good if you send it on time. Es bueno si ustedes lo envían a tiempo. That way they can set up the group faster. De esa manera el curso no se atrasa mucho. If not, you're going to be waiting like for three weeks. Si no, van a estar esperando como por tres semanas. And of course you say, yeah, we can rest. Y desde luego decimos algunos nombres, vamos a descansar. But the problem is this. English is a language. All languages, well, some of you know it. Uh, what you need is practice. This is a matter of practice. Esto necesita práctica. And the problem is this. Perhaps some of you get in contact with the language on a daily basis. Quizá algunos de ustedes entren en contacto con el idioma diariamente. But some of you just in the class. Para algunos de ustedes solo en la clase. And I mean, this is the only time that you get in touch with the language. And what about when it when you wait like two, three weeks? ¿Qué pasa cuando usted espera como dos, tres semanas? It's the same as when you... I mean, almost everybody knows how to ride a bicycle, right? Todos sabemos cómo andar en bicicleta. But if you stop doing it, next time you get it, you're like, uh, 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 it's harder for you to get. Es cuesta un poquito volver a tomarle el ritmo. The same happens here. I mean, believe me, in like, uh, for me, the, 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 the slow time, para mí el tiempo, los días lentos, is half of December, in January, a mitad de diciembre y enero. I don't have that much work. And even though in my house everybody speaks English, a pesar que en mi casa se habla inglés, eh, it's not the same. So what, what I do is that I start like reading, watching movies, watching uh, series, the news, uh, sports, everything in English. So I can keep on practicing. If not, if you don't use it, you lose it. Si no lo usa, lo pierde. As simple as that. So, that's the idea for you to keep on practicing. I will give you something for you to practice. Voy a ver qué les consigo por ahí para que puedan practicar. So, and register as soon as, the pos as possible. Y regístrense, manden la documentación lo más pronto posible. So, you don't lose that much time. Así no pierden tanto tiempo. Okay, well... Uh, welcome all of you. Bienvenidos todos. Today we are, as yesterday, we are having a, a little bit heavy night. Tenemos una noche un poquito pesada. And in the sense that we are covering a lot of material. Uh, well, part of it is my bad. Parte de eso es culpa mía. I prepare. Today we are going to work with uh, uh, idioms. Okay. Today we are working with idioms. Idioms is a very nice topic. Um, but the problem when we are working with idioms is that some of them don't, I mean, actually idioms, they do not make sense. Those idioms, no, no tienen sentido. And I mean, in the, in the manual, you will find it in page number 34, but uh, let me just check a little something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a big presentation ready. And I would rather we cover that topic right now in next class because let's see when we're watching idioms again. Déjame ver dónde vemos, cuando vemos uh, idioms de nuevo. Because I have the, the all the lesson plans here. Give me just a little second. Okay, today, Friday. Friday, we check out idioms again, but Friday, we are going to focus more on speaking, okay? And right now, we are going to check out, check and to focus on the, the what are idioms, and we are going to be checking out some of them. Mm. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Give me just a second. Mm. 
just one second. Perfect. Thank you. I'm sorry. Let's see. Wow, I got a full, almost a full house today. We're just waiting for Irving. No Irving, no, no Irving. But there's Marjorie. Let's see. Marjorie Angelica Don Granicio. Present. Thank you. And Ivan Alberto Castillo Alas. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well. Today we are going to change a little bit of the order of the activities. Usually we watch the, the conversation from the manual and then we watch the grammar. But today I have prepared a PowerPoint presentation. It's a little bit long. So perhaps I'm going to cut it in half and we are going to watch it in two times, two different moments of the class. Okay, we're going to watch it at the beginning right now. We're going to watch the rest after the conversation part. And remember that before we finish the class, we are gonna we have the questions about job interviews, right? So we got very interesting topics. By the way, is there any question about yesterday's topic? Alguna pregunta antes de meternos a esto sobre el tema de ayer? Present perfect. Algo que se nos haya ocurrido durante el día. No? Well. That's something else that you need to remember, guys. If something appears, si algo sucede, uh, I mean, like if something is not quite clear or perhaps in two, three classes, you remember, let me know, tell me. Avísenme. That's not a problem for me to explain or clarify a point. No hay problema por aclarar algún punto que no haya quedado del todo claro, okay? That's why we are here. So let's continue. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, guys. Well, this little thing is a little bit long. And let me... Uh, 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 um. Okay. Idioms. That's our topic. Idioms. Idioms, what are idioms? Are phrases which people use in everyday language which do not make sense literally, but we understand what they mean. Okay, that's something very interesting to take into an account. Eso es algo muy importante tomar en cuenta. They do not make sense literally. Ellos no tienen sentido literalmente. But everybody understand their meaning. Todo el mundo entiende el, el significado, what they mean. So we're going to go get straight out to them. Oh, by the way, don't forget, I'm sending you this presentation. No se olviden, yo se la voy a enviar, so you don't need to be like taking notes. Just pay attention to it. No necesita tomar muchas anotaciones. Because I'm going to share the presentation. Yo le voy a compartir la presentación. Have got a bug. Okay. She picked up a bug on holiday. Doctors couldn't diagnose up to now. Picked up a bug. Okay. A bug is un insecto. Have got a bug is como agarrar un insecto. But look, she picked up a bug on holiday. Doctors couldn't di diagnose up to now. Ella agarró un virus. In English, you can say it like this. Have got a bug. I got a bug. Man, I feel terrible. I think I got a bug. Creo que agarré un virus. Okay. A pain in the neck. Oh, yeah. That happens, you know. The other day, Marjorie was telling me, Hey, teacher, you are a pain on the neck sometimes. And I was like, please don't tell me that. What is a pain in the neck? Literally, es un dolor en el cuello, ¿no? But he is really annoying. Es muy molesto. He's a pain in the neck. A person that is very 
I don't know. Alguien que incomoda mucho. The person is a pain in the neck. Rip off. Okay. The food in this restaurant is a rip off. Es un robo. We can't afford the price of them. No nos podemos permitir el precio. It's a rip off. When something is too expensive. I mean, there are some things that are expensive, but when something is too expensive and you think it's not like a overpriced, when something is overpriced, cuando algo tiene un precio demasiado caro, excesivo, it's a ripoff. To pinch. I can find my sandwich. I'm sure my dog pinched it again, pinched it. Again, es, se lo llevó, se lo quitó. Offhand. Oh, this is very interesting. This is quite common. Este es muy común. I can answer your questions offhand. I have to check my agenda. Okay, I will be making posts like this. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, that's the only problem I got with this type of classes. But I'm a person, uh, I'm the type of person that use his hands when teaching. Perdón, yo soy de los que usan las manos cuando hablan. I don't know why, but I use them, you see. So, when it says here, uh, I can answer your questions offhand. Uh, llega alguien y le pregunta algo. Por ejemplo, uh, to Ana Verónica. Ana Verónica, I need the... I need to know the results of the reports of last month about this area. And Veronica is like, what? And Veronica is like, okay. You say, oh, I can answer you question of hand. No se la puedo contestar así de la nada. I mean, I need to check out first. Necesito revisar. So, in this case, the off hand means... Así, eh, no puedo contestarla en el aire. Tengo que revisar la información. Tengo que buscar información. That's how you use it. Esa es la manera como se usa. No sé si me explico. Yeah. Okay. Let me continue. Okay. Hang on. Please. Hang on a second. I will ask the principal. Hang on a second. Okay. You know that the verb hang means colgar, right? But hang on is like uh, uh, wait. Espere. You gotta be careful because I mean, when you're, what about if somebody calls you? Okay, si alguien le llama por teléfono. You tell the person, oh, hang on a second. You gotta be careful not to say hang up. Because hang up means colgar. Colgar una llamada telefónica. Hang on means wait. Okay. Hang on, espere, permítame. Hang up. Es colgar una llamada telefónica. Shortcut. Oh, well. If we take the subway, it will be a shortcut for us and it will save time. Shortcut is atajo. Okay. To take a shortcut is tomar un atajo. That's quite simple. Simials. Okay, sometimes we make similes by using as, the adjective as, or like. What are we talking about? ¿De qué está hablando aquí el teacher? No entendemos. Okay, hacemos similes utilizando el comparativo de igualdad. Look. Like, uh, this teacher is as bad as the previous one. Este profesor es tan malo como el anterior. As, luego viene un adjetivo y luego el as. El primer as es tan o tanto y el otro es como. Or the word like, o la palabra like. That 
in some sentences, this is a verb, it's el verbo gustar, but in some, in some sentences, in some situations, it's used to say como. También se utiliza para decir como. Like if I, eh, como si yo, like if I tell you, como si yo les dijera, you see? That's when you use like to say como. And also like, um, I use it a lot, actually. Yo lo utilizo mucho. Something that you gotta remember is this. Some expressions, you use them according to when did you learn English and with whom. Algunas expresiones se utilizan más que otras de acuerdo a donde aprendimos inglés el, en el tiempo, o sea, en el momento y quien se lo enseñó. Like in my case, I use a lot like because I learned in the between the 90s and the 2000s. Yo aprendí inglés allá por el, los 90, finales de los 90, inicio del 2000. So, uh, at that time, like was used a lot. En ese entonces se utilizaba mucho, like a, como una muletilla. Another one that we use like that is, uh, otra que usamos de esa manera es um, so. So. A lot of people use so, but so is used mostly with people that learn between perhaps 99, 2004. Si alguien aprende inglés por allá del 99, 2004, they use a lot so. I mean, if somebody learned in the 80s, si alguien aprendió allá por los 80, they use what have you. And that one don't ask me. That's weird even for me. Esa rara aún para mí. But I have met people that say like, um, conocido gente que usa la, like uh, saying, you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff to do and so many things to cover and what have you. Y ahí terminó la oración. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. But you gotta remember that even with this, with idioms, some idioms, they become like uh, obsolete. Algunos se vuelven obsoletos. Languages, I mean, according to the to the to linguistics, like every two years they renovate. Cada do, dos años debemos de renovarnos with languages. Why? Because uh, 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 some words come in and some words are like out of fashion. Algunas palabras. Suena raro. Pasan de moda. People don't use it no more and they create new terms in order to explain them. Se crean nuevos términos que significan lo mismo. Okay? It's like uh, do. Uh, like um, lady tells me I, I love the heat. Me encanta el calor, me dice lady. Y yo le digo I don't like it do. I don't like it, though. T-H-O-U-G, though. I don't use it. I don't I don't really use it that much. I mean, I use it just once in a while. Es raro en las situaciones que yo lo uso. But if you were learning in the, I mean, because it's not academic English. And that's something else you got to understand. Most of the time I speak with you formal English. La mayor parte del tiempo yo hablo con ustedes formal English. I mean, I'm not teaching you like uh, like um, like slang, like too colloquial English. No estoy enfocado tanto en un idioma coloquial because this is English for work. So, I mean, in a way, what you're getting here is supposed to be focused on, on a working environment. Se enfoca en un área de trabajo. And if you are like that, you are supposed to be using a more correct vocabulary. And in that sense, formal English doesn't vary that much. El inglés formal no varía tanto. And you can, it's on, it's always understood. But some words come in, some words come out. And the same happens with, with uh, uh, idioms. So let's continue. So I don't get like out of context, para no perder el contexto. Okay, what are we talking here? ¿De qué hablamos acá? 
this uh hopses in the countryside are selling like hot cakes i think you must immediately buy one and there's a little mistake here but the idea is this something is selling like hot cakes algo se está vendiendo como hot cakes se está vendiendo como caliente no a hot cakes eh, nosotros le decimos hot cakes uh, 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 i don't know the, what's the word in, in spanish for that ¿Cuál es la palabra española para eso? Algo que se vende muy rico. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That would be the idea. That would okay. be the idea. Yeah, okay. sure. That's the idiom we got, right? Ese es nuestro idiom for that, for that expression. Algo que se vende como pan caliente. I got you, I got you. Yeah, because hot cakes, strictly speaking, is like tortitas. No, that's in Spain. Eso sí se le dice en España. No sé cómo le decimos acá. But you get the idea. That's what matters. Pancakes. Yeah, pancakes. Okay, now, a mind like a sieve. She doesn't remember what happened exactly. She has got a mind like a sieve. Tiene una mente como un colador. That means that we say it like uh, when somebody doesn't remember things, uh, here for us is like, uh, nosotros decimos que le entró aquí le salió aquí. No prestó atención a nada, right? So, that's the idiom. A mind like a sieve. Okay. Now, water under the bridge. This expression is used to refer to something from the past that is not longer important. Okay? Like, you know, the other day I had a big, big discussion with Ruth. El otro día me peleé con Ruth. Ruth is a very angry person. Ella es una persona muy enojada. And I'm not a patient person. So we had a heavy discussion. And she told me some things like pretty hard. Ella me dijo cosas muy, muy duras. But after that, we gotta talk, like calm down. Luego nos calmamos y hablamos. And right now, that's water under the bridge. Eso es agua bajo el puente. I don't know how do we say it. No sé cómo sería el equivalente en español, but it's something that is not important no more. Okay? Ya no es importante. We let it go. Lo dejamos ir. Okay? So, that's why we say that it's something from the past that is no longer important. What's done is done, and there's nothing we can do about it. It's all water under the bridge now. Piece of cake. Ah, this is nice, right? Piece of cake. Something very easy. One plus two equals, oh, you say three. That's a piece of cake. The exam was piece of cake. Like, you know, uh, the other day Julio was telling me, oh, come on, teacher, your class is piece of cake. For me, easy, not complex. You see, that's piece of cake. Next one. Okay. To let the cat out of the bag. That's to reveal a secret. To tell someone about a secret. You know, like, you know, Veronica, I am mad at you. Soy molesto con usted. Veronica Elizabeth. Pretty mad. Because the other day, Carlos told me, el otro día Carlos me dijo, that you said, oh, this teacher is so boring. Este profesor es tan aburrido. I, I am mad. I don't believe that teacher. <laughs> no, no, no. No excuses. The, the cat is out of the bag. Carlos <laughs> told me. You see? The secret is known for everybody. You got it, guys? Si lo entendemos como se usa? So when we say the cat is the cat is out of the bag, it means that the secret is no secret no more. 
Okay, okay. So we are throwing a party for Michelle tonight, but don't let the cat out of the bag. It's supposed to be a surprise. That means don't reveal the secret. Okay, to hit the nail on the head, to describe something perfectly. Okay, now one. This one, you hear it, mostly you will read. Este quizás lo lean. And if you hear it, perhaps from a British person. Si lo escuchan, tal vez de una persona británica. Or an old person. Because it's not quite common in young people. I think you really hit the nail on the head when you said that we are lacking in confidence and motivation. Okay, hit the nail on the head. Now, people like you will hear, I think you hit it. As I hit it. Hit it. That's the way you're going to listen to this idiom. Ustedes hoy en día lo van a escuchar solamente como hit it. Okay. I think you hit on the point. I I think you hit on the idea. That means le diste darle en el clavo. Exactly that. That's the idea. Dar en el clavo. Okay? To get exact the idea that needs to be understood. But people nowadays don't say hit in the hit the nail on the head. People say hit, hit on. Okay. This one is easy. You can judge a book by its cover. You can tell what is someone what someone is like from their appearance, right? So las apariencias engañan. That's this. You can judge a book by its cover. She seems like cold and hard person, but she's very warm and nice. You can judge a book by its cover. Okay? That means don't judge by the appearance. No juzgue por las apariencias. Okay? That's the idea. It's like you say, oh, like if you tell, I don't know, if you ask somebody from my family, Usted le pregunta a alguien de mi familia and you tell them, oh no, but the teacher is very talkative and he likes to make jokes and everything. Usted le dice el nombre, pero a él le gusta hablar y hacer bromas. They will tell you, don't judge a book by its cover. Le van a decir, mm, no se deje llevar por las apariencias. Because actually, you know, that's something that happens to me just when I am in class. I mean, when I get in class, my switch turns on. Cuando estoy en clase, se me enciende el switch. After class, I am very serious. I don't know why. No me pregunten por qué. But I enjoy what I do. That's the thing. Yo disfruto lo que hago. So I am teaching like with adults, men, I'm cool. I feel fine. But the rest of the time, I'm very quiet. So, is it clear? ¿No entendemos? Yes, it's Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, next one. Don't bite off, don't bite off more than you can shoo. Shoo, masticar, shoo. That's the pronunciation of this verb, shoo. Don't try to do more than you can do. I think I bit off more than I could shoo when I agreed to paint this house by myself. Hmm. How could we say this? ¿Cómo podríamos decirlo en español? Es cuando tratamos de hacer más de lo que realmente podemos. Hmm. El, antes decían el que, ¿qué? que alguien se metió en camisa de once varas, decía mi abuelo. Con mucha barca, poco aprieta. Yeah, also, the same idea. I mean, it's just that you went over your hill. Oh, that's another one. And that one, I guess it's not here. Otra manera de decirlo es that you went over your head. Otra manera de decir lo mismo es esto. Se los mando, este sí se los mando en el chat de Zoom. I went over my head. Eh, 
en tampoco tiene sentido, porque sería yo me fui de eh, sobre mi cabeza con, con algo. But that means that eh, se me fue la mano. O creí poder hacer más de lo que realmente podía. That's the idea. I mean, remember, idioms, they don't, they don't make sense, but we understand them. No tienen sentido, pero sí los entendemos. It's like, uh, it's like when we say, oh, llueve a cántaros. Everybody understands what that means. Todos entendemos lo que significa, right? But if you really think about it, it doesn't make sense. Pero si realmente piensa en ello, mucho sentido no tiene del todo. Nunca hemos visto llover un cántaro. I mean, it doesn't make sense as a sentence. Como una oración no, no tiene mucho sentido. The idea. But we understand what it means. And the same happens here. In English, that would be, it's raining dogs and cats. Lleven gatos y perros. That's their expression by llueve a cántaros. It's raining dogs and cats. Cats and dogs. Let's continue. Okay. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You do me a favor and I will do you a favor in return. This is very interesting. You do me a favor and I will do you a favor in return. Tú me haces un favor, yo te hago uno a ti. That's you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. If you lend me the money now, I will use my contacts to help you get the job you want. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Suena casi extorsión la cosa, but no comments, right? Next one. Oh. To add insult to injury. To make a bad situation worse by doing something else bad. This is very simple, to add insult to injury. Look at the example. She arrived an hour late for the dinner party. Then, just to add insult to injury, she complained about the food. Okay? Something like, y para colmo. That's the idea, when we say to add insult to injury. Because if you try to translate it, it will be, Agregar un insulto a un a una lesión. That doesn't make sense, but it means para colmo, para grabar las cosas. That's the idea. Como poner el dedo sobre el aire. Eh, no, sí, como, como pa ter, para rematar, decimos nosotros. O sea, no, llegó tarde a la cena y para rematar se queja de la comida. Yo sé. That's to add insult to injury. So, how do you like this topic? Está interesante, no? Now, something that you need to understand is this. Algo que debemos de entender es esto. Idioms, people use them a lot. Se usan mucho. I have, I have gotten you the, the most common ones. Les he buscado los más comunes. There are more. I mean... I found a list of over a hundred. I encontré una lista como con más de cien. But, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense if I get all of them if you are not going to use them. No tiene sentido que les dé el montón si no los van a usar. So I'm trying to get the, the ones that are more easily understood because are more common to the, to the relatives in, in, in Spanish. Los que tienen una relación más común para nuestro uso. Those are the ones that I'm trying to give you and the ones that are more commonly used for them. Y los que más usan ellos. Okay? So be patient. Be patient. We still have a little bit more. Like you see here, the little dog. The little dog is injured. And they, on top of everything, the cat is jumping on his head. Para rematar el gato le está saltando en la cabeza, ¿no? Okay. Once in a blue moon. Oh, I use this one. I use it a lot. 
Very rarely, not very often. Yeah, you know, you know that, uh, you know that student Walter? Man, I see him in class once in a blue moon. Allá las quinientas. I'm kidding, Walter, I'm kidding. I know you are almost always here. Allá el tiempo, dice uno. That's once in a blue moon. Okay? Para decir allá el tiempo, allá las quinientas. Once in a blue moon. Allá cuando se muere un burro, decía mi abuelo. It's the same idea. Exactly the same idea. With three kids to look after, I only get to go out once in a blue moon. Con tres niños que cuidar, salgo solo. Salgo allá al tiempo, once in a blue moon. Not regularly, you see? Okay, now this one. If two people see eye to eye, they agree on things and see things the same way. Sometimes we fight, but we generally see eye to eye on most things. This is British. Okay? Este lo usan más los británicos. See eye to eye. Es estar de acuerdo. Oh, this one is easy for us. Kill two birds with one stone. Dos pájaros de un tiro. To manage to do two things at the same time. During the trip to Scotland, I met with my old friends and went to my brother's wedding. I managed to kill two birds with one stone. You see? I met with my old friends and went to my brother's wedding. Okay. Cut corners. To do something the easiest, quickest, quickest or cheapest way. Cut corners. I won't cut corners just to save money. I put quality first. And I don't know if we have one for those. No sé si tenemos una para esa. Uh, uh, when we say that, estamos diciendo hacer algo de la manera más simple, más sencilla y Y barata, quizás. You see what I mean? No sé si me explico. That's the idea with cut corners. Now, the difference between British and Americans is that sometimes Americans say cutting corners. Cutting. Le ponen el ING. That's the only difference, but it's the same idea. Okay. The last straw. The last straw. The last problem in a series of problems. She's always been rude to me, but it was the last straw when she started insulting my mother. La gota que derramó el vaso. The last straw. Okay, that's the meaning. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to stop and go back. My bad, I'm sorry. Okay. To take what somebody said with a pinch of salt. You don't, you don't take something very seriously because you don't believe it. You take it with a pinch of salt. Con una pizca de sal tomamos algo. Look at the example. Vamos a ver. I'll take everything she says with a pinch of salt. She often tells lies. You know, it's like, ah, you know, when this girl tells me that she had to work last night, I take it with a pinch of salt. I don't believe her that much. Cuando me dijo la muchacha ahí de que ella tuvo que trabajar anoche, mmm, como que no mucho me lo creí. 
I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, you know, Ana Veronica is like this right now. Like, where is he? No, the idea is we don't have an expression for that either. Creo que no tenemos nosotros una expresión para eso, ¿sí? No me lo creo. No mucho le creo, decimos nosotros. That's the idea. To take something with a pinch of salt. La, la, la frase más, más fea y vulgar que dice, eh, eh, dale paja valija. No, no le creo a la paja que dice. Yeah, that would be, that would be. Yeah. It's closer. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. Ya casi terminamos, don't worry. Okay, if someone is sitting on the fence, they don't take sides in an argument or they avoid making decisions. I don't think you can sit on the fence about this problem. You have to tell us what you think. Okay. You can also say it like this. I don't. Oops. I don't think you can sit sit on this one. I don't think you can sit on this one. Ahí le estoy diciendo, mmm, no creo que puedas estarte, ¿cómo se dice? Sin tomar lados, sin tomar un lado. Tienes que tomar una decisión. Entonces lo decimos así, I don't think you can sit on this one. Imagine that you are in a meeting, está en una reunión, and there's two people like arguing, and they ask your opinion, y le piden su opinión, y le dicen, you have to. Y es una orden que usted tiene que dar su opinión. Y usted siempre se ha mantenido al margen. Ok, no puedes mantenerte al margen. That's the idea. Esa es la idea. Ok. I don't think you can sit on this one. You need to. También se utiliza esta última que le doy. I don't think you can sit on this one. También se utiliza para decir, eh, no creo que puedas... Eh, como guardarte el secreto o quedártelo. Tienes que decir lo que está sucediendo. ¿Ok? Now. Just a couple more. Solo un par más. I know it's been long. Sé que ha sido largo. Ok. The best of both worlds. To take all the advantages of two different situations. Lo mejor de dos mundos. She wants to keep her manager's salary, but she doesn't want any of the responsibilities. She wants the best of both worlds, but that is not possible. Pull the wool over someone's eyes to try to trick someone. Don't try to pull the wool over her eyes. She's too smart. No trate de engañarla. No trates de dormir, te la le decimos acá. Okay. This one is easy. Speaking of the devil, right? This is something we say when the person we are talking about appears. Hablando del diablo. That's exactly the same. The same one. To give someone the cold shoulder, to ignore someone, or to behave unfriendly without any reason. Ponerle la ley del hielo. That's, that's this one, to give someone the cold shoulder. I wanted to talk with Morgan, but she was giving me the, a cold shoulder. Do you know what is wrong? Man, you know, uh, a few minutes ago, a student texted me. Asking me for a video that I was supposed to send her yesterday. Una alumna me escribió preguntándome por un video que tenía que haberle enviado ayer. But I explained to her that I have a lot on my plate. So I simply forgot. I'll do it later on. That means to have a lot of work to do and to be very busy. I don't think I will be able to go to the party this Friday because I got a lot on my plate now. You see? And finally, we finish it. Long, right? Un poquito largo. Now, 
of course, you are not going to learn them, all of them, like today. No se la van a aprender todas. Que de sopetón. But it's good, like, at least you get in, in contact with them. Es bueno que al menos entren en contacto con ellos. Because, as I told you, they are very used. We are going to see some others here in the class. Vamos a ver unos cuantos aquí en la clase today and in Friday. And slowly but steadily, you are going to be getting them. Poco a poco lo van a ir obteniendo. And, and that's also a matter of style. Y eso también es una cuestión de estilo. Some of them are going to become quite common for you because you are going to be using it. Algunos se les van a volver muy comunes porque los van a estar usando, but that's because that's the way we think or speak. Pero también depende de la manera como nosotros pensamos o hablamos. I mean, because there are some, some idioms in Spanish that you don't use. Hay algunos idioms que, aún del español, que puede ser que, I don't know, that Rafael uses, but José Alfredo doesn't. Puede ser que hay algunos que Rafael los use, pero que Alfredo no. And that's normal, I mean... We don't all speak the same way. No todos hablamos de la misma manera. There are many factors involved in this, like uh, where you're from, uh, your level of study, and the activities you perform. I mean, when you study this, this uh, as a linguistic, you realize that there are plenty of factors that have a big influence in the way you express. Cuando se estudia esto ya desde el punto de vista lingüístico, hay muchos factores que entran en juego a la hora de ver el vocabulario que utilizamos. Yeah, it's the same language, but, I mean, some expressions are more common or they make more sense to you than to other people uh, related to many different situations and factors. It depende de muchos factores o situaciones. I mean, and if not, you can ask the lady about it. Si no, le preguntan a la lady. That's her specialty, right, lady? Ella está ducha en esa área, so not a problem. Okay, guys, now. Oh, my. Let me get the second attendance. My, my, wow. Time flew. Se me fue el tiempo. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present teacher. Clelia Estela Present. Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present teacher. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granicho. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Perdón, teacher, present. Thank you, thank you. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Ruth Guadalupe, Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, now we're going to speed things up. Vamos a acelerar un poquito esto. Okay. Here we go. The question, we're in unit three, right? Troubleshooting. These two questions, we are going to talk about them at the end. Estas dos preguntas las vamos a ver al final, okay? Do you often get sick? What are the procedures to report a work absence? We are going to check, do that after we practice the conversation. Primero vamos a practicar la conversación. Look at the situation. Jani is sick. She calls her boss to explain what the problem is. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then 
you got to practice with a partner. Okay? And the conversation goes like this. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, now. My stomach is killing me. You know that one. Estómago me está matando. I'm as sick as a dog. That means that I am very sick. And the next one, when it's when he says, uh, I was feeling under the weather too. And this one says, me sentí un poco indispuesto, es lo que está diciendo. Feeling under the weather. Sentirse un poco indispuesto. There's something going around. Anda dando, decimos nosotros. There is something going around. I'm in tip-top shape. Estoy bien, estoy nice, estoy de toque. And take it easy, you know, take it easy, tranquila, calma, no problem. I repeat. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz, this is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah, I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, guys, let's go to the groups. We're going to make it fast. Lo vamos a hacer rápido. Just four minutes for you to practice it. Groups are created and open. Jump in, please.
oh really there's something going around i hope you are feeling better oh yeah i am in tip top shape 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 in tip shape. top shape oh oh yeah i am in tip top shape uh, take it easy jenny take I it hope, easy take it easy take it easy jenny i hope to see you on monday thanks a lot mr reese have a nice rest of the day <clears throat> Empiezo yo. Ahora empieza usted. Uh, good, good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach I killed me. My stomach. I, uh, stomach. Stomach. Okay, my stomach is killed me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope I hope uh, you you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thank a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. I solo que practique con Milton a veces, twice. Okay, guys, we're just waiting for a couple of you. Solo esperamos por unos cuantos. Let's be patient.
Okay, let's do this fast. Claudia Pineda and Marjorie. Claudia, you start, please. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Yanni. I have a situation. Hi, Yanni. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm a sickest adult. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in TikTok chat. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Chris. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, stomach, stomach. Okay, stomach. stomach. Okay. Mm, Veronica Elizabeth and Carlos Miguel, please. Uh, okay. Carlos, you start. Okay. Um, good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip-top shape. Take care easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on to Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. My stomach. My stomach. Stomach. No. Noch. Quítale la H. Stomach. Stomach. Like that? Stomach. Yep. Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, Ruth and Clelia. Clelia, you ready? Yes. Okay, Clelia, you start, please. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what the matter? I am not feeling well today. My stomach is feeling I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Today's talk, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am tip top chef. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reed. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, Clelia, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's, what's the matter? Matter. Matter. Como que fuera la doble T, pronuncia la como una R. Matter. What's the matter? Like that, perfect. Okay, Julio. Where is Julio? Rafael, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Julio, you start. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Riz. This is Mr. Riz. Hello, Mr. Riz. This is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I know feeling you have today. My stomach he is killing me. I am sick as dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather, too. Oh, really? There's some time uh, going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am... Talk shape. Take it easy, Jamie. I hope to see you on Monday. 
Thank you a lot, Mr. Mr. Ruiz. Highlight rest of the day. Okay, perfect. Very well done, guys. Uh, Eric Josue, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, <clears throat> Ana Marlene, ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Ana Marlene, you start. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Riz. Hello, Mr. Riz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My tom my stomach I killed me. I am as sick as a, lo a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reed. Have a nice rest of the day. Very well done. Thank you. Nilton and Ana Veronica. Nilton, you start. Sorry. Uh, good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Today's I go. I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in the TikTok shake day. It's easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Very well, thank you. Lady and Walter Ernesto. Walter, you will start. Okay. Good morning. This is Miss Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My <clears throat> stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I in TikTok shake. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Very well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, if you remember, we had a couple of questions there. Teníamos un par de preguntas ahí. Do you often get sick? What are the procedures to report a work absence? Okay. You are going to share that info with your classmates. You will have just five minutes. Solamente van a tener cinco minutos. In order to ask and answer that those questions, I sent them to the group already because we need to check out the other vocabulary I told you. Hay que revisar el otro vocabulario que les dije, okay? So, let's see. Oh my gosh. Hurry up. Five minutes. Okay. The free question is do you often get sick? Okay. 
Do your friend get sick, lady? <laughs> run. I run that sick. Yeah, she's 26, Walter. Or yeah, 26, right, lady? Yeah. Yeah, she's <laughs> young. At that time, at that age, that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Ella está chiquita, esa edad es más problema. I yes. Healthy, healthy. <laughs> healthy, healthy. Healthy. I go to the gym. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The same goes for Ana Veronica. Look at her. They are like cool, no problem. She, they can work 24 7, trabajan 24 7. They're like, <laughs> 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 yeah, you see, they don't even need to sleep, ni siquiera necesitan dormir. Cool, right? <laughs> and one, one hour. And yeah, when you reach my age, is when you start like finding out about, uh, Defects from factory. A mi edad es que uno comienza a detectar ya los defectos de fábrica. No. no. How old are you, teacher? 43. Oh. You see, she went like, oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. I'm out of here. Me voy. <laughs> I, I'm completely out of here. You weren't supposed to agree with me on that, lady. No se suponía que estuviera de acuerdo conmigo. Come on. In my case, mm, yo sí me enfermo. Sí me enfermo. En mi caso, no. I get a seat. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> but you need to take into an account the fact of our age. Miren, hay que aceptar nuestra edad. That affects also. I'm coming from the other group. Vengo del otro grupo donde dos chicas muy jóvenes. They say, oh, no, we never get sick. Rarely, rara vez, dicen. We don't need to sleep uh -huh. that much, ni duermen mucho, yeah. I tell them, at my age, you start getting the defects from factory. A mi edad es que uno se da cuenta de los defectos de fábrica, les digo. <laughs> you see that hurts here, hurts there. I mean, you can injure yourself by sleeping. Uno se lastima durmiendo. Sí. Yeah, you wake up hurting more. No, teacher, I was sick because I get uh, COVID-19. And then, uh, las secuelas, no sé cómo será, las secuelas me dejaron mal. Me han operado tres veces. Sequels, really? Mm. Yes, when, I, when, when we start this module, I was... Uh, uh, Motion. 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 Motion, I was... Uh, recuperación de la cirugía. Recovering, recovering from surgery. En mi caso, finish, guys. Finish, yes. teacher. Perfect. Let's go back to the main room.
sorry. Let's see, Rafael. Hello, hello. Where are you? Oh, right there. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Rafael, do you get sick regularly? Uh, I, in my case, no, no, no sick. I don't I, get sick. I don't get sick. Oh, really? Lucky you. How do you do? Que come? The old. <laughs> Everything. No hay elemento que no me guste. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because for mm -hmm. some of us, it's a little bit harder. Algunos de nosotros nos cuesta un poquito más, right? But that's nice. Nice, the fact that you don't get sick that regularly. Okay, but tell me, when you get sick, what's the procedure you follow in your company? ¿Cuál es el procedimiento en su compañía? Yeah, in my case, it's um, called you, uh, call um, a chef, a boss. Okay. My coach, my coordinator, my boss. Uh, uh, um, call uh, a boss in in report uh, in in my absence. How say? My absence. My, my absence. And that's it. And that's it. That's cool. In 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 I uh, present, how do you say? Una comprobación. Una... Uh, in that case, is the leave of illness. In this este case, very particular, is a leave of illness. Let me see. Let me. Uh, uh, ahorita le escribo. How do you say? Leave of illness in my case a uh, leave of illness uh, for a uh, photo uh, whatsapp uh, okay name. eso es como la incapacidad nosotros yeah. decimos la incapacidad that's a leave of illness y un, y un permiso de cualquier otro tipo que no debemos trabajar es una leave of absence mm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, DJ. No problem, no problem. What about you, Clelia? How often do you get sick? Um, Sometimes. Not that common. No, oh, this is a healthy girl. Yes, muy healthy, this. That's cool. And when you do, uh, how do you present your, your, your leave of absence? ¿Cómo le hace con los permisos? What's the uh, process? I I report to my boss by phone. I report. I report to my boss by phone. Mm. And that's Sorry it. That. Yes. That's cool. I mean, you don't have to do that many things. Like I said, mucho. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. Now. I'm sorry, I know that everybody did the activity, but I need to jump into the next topic. Okay, now let's see. Imagine, because this topic we are going, I have a bunch of questions. Tengo un montón de preguntas. So this topic we are going to be covering in a couple of classes. Lo vamos a ir cubriendo en unas cuantas clases. Okay, now context, job interview, entrevista de trabajo. Okay, let's see. Lady, can you tell me something about yourself? I'm 26 years old. Uh, I'm bachelor of mathematics. Um, I work. I'm sorry, I, I don't work. hear you cl quite clear. No le escucho muy claramente. Okay, creo que por los audífonos. Okay. Uh, I'm 26 years old. I'm bachelor of mathematics. I work at. at I worked. I worked. I, I work. La E de después de la letra eh, K suena como una T. I worked. I worked. Okay. At CDI Amonshea in Perkin. Um, 
times um since since kindergarten okay uh, hasta como digo hasta until until um bachillerato high school high school el uh, um, language and mathematics um and then uh coaching to teachers okay and principal and and now i work uh, i work with uh, uh teachers and principal and literacy uh, razonamiento lógico matemático okay mm -hmm. um, los alcaldes como se les dice mayors mayors uh, students de of CBE um, what's that And then I have my emprend emprendimiento. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. A businesswoman. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Entrepreneurship. 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 Yep. Emprendimiento. Mm. Okay. Well, interesting. Now remember, remember it's a job interview. You were looking up. Look at the front. Okay. Now, this question, this question, guys. Can you tell me something about yourself? Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Vamos a hacer algo. These two questions, I need the answers You will have to write them and send me the answers. Estas dos preguntas las van a escribir y me van a enviar las respuestas for tomorrow, okay? The context, eh, el contexto es job interview. Usted está en una entrevista de trabajo, okay? Can you tell me something about yourself? And why do you want to work for us? Imagine that you are applying for a company that you really want to work in. Imagínese que está aplicando en una, una compañía en la que sí le llama la atención trabajar. So, you will answer those two questions. I need the writing, okay? No necesito escrito. So, I'm going to prepare you for a job interview. Next question. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Ana Verónica. Ana Verónica. Hello, hello. Okay, tell me. What can you do for us that someone else can't? What do you bring that makes you special? Look at the question in the Zoom chat. What can you do for us that someone else can't? What's the plus you bring for the company? What can what can do you? No entiendo. No understand. ¿Qué puede hacer usted por nosotros que alguien más no? ¿Qué es lo especial que usted brinda para la empresa? I'm sorry. Mi valor agregado, le digo. Yeah, exactly. En, en inglés tengo que decir. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is a job interview, my dear, in English. Uh, think about no. it, think about it. Piénselo, piénselo. I'll go right now to somebody else and I'll go back to you. Ya regreso con usted. Okay. Let's see, Walter. 
Same question. What can you do for us that someone else can't? ¿Qué es lo extra um, que usted no brinda? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I never seen this, this question. Oh. Uh, okay, like, uh, I mean... Remember, you are selling yourself, guys. In a job interview, you are selling yourself. Recordemos, okay. en una entrevista de trabajo, usted se está vendiendo. Okay. So you got to present yourself in the best of ways. Hay que presentarse de la mejor manera. And we, something that we need to remember is this. It's a fact, es un hecho, that we bring something special. Because all of us are different. Todos somos distintos. All of us got something. What is that something special? Can be experience. Puede ser experiencias. You can talk about the different experience or different special activities that you have had to perform. Pueden ser actividades especiales que usted ha tenido que desarrollar or perhaps goals that you have have had to achieve or metas que ha tenido que alcanzar or situations that you have overcome o situaciones que usted ha sobrellevado on in a successful ways so those are the, the the things that you can do for the company that someone else can't okay you have to sell yourself well i'm a very willing and dedicated person and i know that there's plenty of stuff that i can give to the company and something that i have that perhaps nobody else can give you is the commitment to the job i am a very committed person Usted puede decir, oh, soy una persona muy comprometida. Who's, who's willing to work as much as necessary in order to achieve my goals. Quien está dispuesto a trabajar tanto como sea necesario para alcanzar las metas. You see? That way you are saying, oh, I'm special. I'm different. And you don't need just to say it. You need to make it in a very convincing way. Hay que hacerlo de una manera convincente, ¿ok? Sí. So, you need to take into an account that. What's something that will help you be convincing? Ok. One, the way in which you speak. Uno, la manera como se dice. Also, your body language. Remember, you are not stiff. In that situation, you need to put a little bit of passion. Passion. Uh, passion. You need to, to, to use your body. Ahí hay que usar un poquito más el cuerpo. Le estamos poniendo un poquito de pasión. You are showing who you are and what you bring. ¿Ok? So, Ana Verónica, what can you do for us that someone else can't? No se me ha olvidado. Ok. Uh, my, my, uh, I can be a support with my, peer, my experience and make uh, the grow from my position. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see, that's different. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, let's see. Veronica Elizabeth. I know, teacher. Yes, you. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay first... Veronica. No, 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 no. Look, look, no. look, look, look. Another. Yes, another, another uh... one, another one. Okay. La primera dos, usted me la, las que les mandé al WhatsApp, esa me la va a mandar escrita. Okay, teacher. Now, tell me, why should we hire you? ¿Por qué deberíamos de contratarla? Give me uh... a reason to hire you. Dame una razón. Because I have experience to this work. Okay. Um, because I have a good attitude, I a uh, responsibility person. Responsible. Uh, okay, responsible, and I like work. Oh, mm. very good, very good. You're a need. You're a need. <laughs> excellent, okay. excellent. Now, 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 now. Let's see, guys. Still got time. Todavía tenemos tiempo. One more question. Una pregunta más. Okay. Jose Alfredo. Ah, pero no para mí. No, no, no. Don't worry, Veronica. Relax. Okay. Jose Alfredo. Hello. 
Go, teacher. Okay, okay. Tell me, Jose Alfredo, what do you look for in a job? ¿Qué es lo que busca en un trabajo? Oh. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Esta, estabil, estabilidad. Teacher. Stability. Stability. Eh, el otro es este, eh, ambiente agradable. Ok, a good environment. A good environment. Environment. Eh, lo más importante. The most important. The most important. Eh, eh, Como que es, me lo dijeron. Uh, a good salary. Okay, yeah, of course, right? Uh, uh, oppor oppor opportunity, opportunities. Opportunities, yes. Opportunities. The uh, crecimiento. Oh, okay, okay. Growing up opportunities. Oh, growing up opportunity. Okay, that's that's great. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, <clears throat> remember that depending on the position on the company, you can also say, uh, I'm looking for a fair salary. Fair. Uh, that would be like, un salario justo. A fair salary. A uh, fair oh. salary is, me decir, buen salario. Salario justo. Yeah, you can say, the thing is this, that uh, you have to analyze who's talking to you. Tiene que analizar con quién está hablando, because some people are like, oh, no, we pay well, we pay fair. They, some companies got the attitude like this. Algunas compañías tienen la actitud esta, este, no pagamos bien, pagamos lo justo. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. <laughs> And they, just, they don't tell you, no dicen, no pagamos mal, no pagamos bien, pagamos lo justo. Yeah. Yeah. That means that uh, when you say, when you give that answer, you are saying, uh, I'm not looking for to be overpaid, but not underpaid. No espero ser sobrepagado, pero tampoco menos de lo, de lo que me merezco. Okay? So you leave it like um, you're fair. Okay, guys, tomorrow we got more questions, okay? Mañana tenemos más preguntas related to this, so start thinking about you are having a job interview. Comiencen a pensar en eso, van a tener una entrevista. We are going to work, talk about, uh, nos vamos a poner en posición also como que usted aplica una, a un puesto en el que usted es empleado, pero también como que usted es un gerente, un, está en un puesto de mando. Y le voy a hacer preguntas relacionadas como, por ejemplo, eh, Have you ever had to fire someone? ¿Ya ha tenido que despedir a alguien? How do you do it? ¿Cómo lo hace? Please, represent it. Demuéstremelo. ¿Ok? We are going to be doing those activities. ¿Ok? It's going to be good. I'm sure you are going to enjoy it. Estoy seguro que le va a gustar. Ok, guys. Wow. Let me get the final attendance. Time has flown. <clears throat> Cuando nos divertimos, se nos va el tiempo. Ok. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present, teacher. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granillo Present Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez Present 
Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present teacher. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you very much, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you, good teacher. Night, good teacher. Good teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See ya. Good night. Good night. Come on, guys. Ayer les di la programación. ¿Qué pasó? Thank you.